Hey guys, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and welcome back to our How To Set Up A Faction Server series. This is our third episode, and in this episode, we're going to be creating a couple of kits, and we're going to be setting up some basic permissions using a plugin called Permissions X. So the first thing we're going to do is set up the permissions. So to set up permissions, we need to install a permissions plugin. So we're using Permissions X. So if you go to the control panel for your Minecraft server, then go to the plugins tab on the left hand side, and then under the bucket plugins tab, search for Permissions X, just like so, and then click Install Latest. And you'll also need another plugin called Vault, as this allows Essentials and Permissions X to work together so that it can format the chat correctly. So if you click Install Latest on that also, and then once you've installed both of these plugins, restart the server. Then give your server a few moments to start up. So once you've given your server a few moments to start up, go to the file manager, then go to the plugins folder and then you should see a folder called permissions x appear so if we go inside of that folder now you'll see a file called permissions.yml so if you go inside of that you can see here we've got default group for permissions x so by default it just creates one group with the permission modify world so what we're going to do i'm going to use a pre-made set of permissions which is great for any server that's running essentials so there'll be a link to this in the description down below so what you'll want to do is just copy all of this by selecting it right from the bottom all the way to the top, click copy, and then go to this permissions file and delete everything currently in it. And then you're going to paste everything that we just copied. And now you've got some basic ranks set up. So with these ranks, we have the default, we have VIP, mod, admin, co-owner, and owner. So if we take a quick look at the default rank, you can see that it is called default and under the options tab, it's set to the default. So what that means is if this is set to true, when a player joins the server, they'll be given this rank by default. So if you wanted a different rank to be given to players by default, you would go underneath, under the options, go across so it lines up correctly. It's very important to make sure everything line up correctly, otherwise it won't work. And then you would type default space true. And then you would need to set this one to false. Otherwise, it would get a bit confused between which to give to default players. So that's how you change the default if you wanted to. But I recommend leaving it as we have it set up here. So after this, we have the prefix. So this is what is going to be displayed next to a player's name in game. I'll demonstrate how this works in a bit when we join the server, but you can change it to display in any way you want. So if you didn't want it to say default, if you wanted it to say maybe newbie you could have that and you can also change the color codes so you can use any color codes or formatting codes that you want to use there'll be a link to this page as well in the description below and here you can see all the color codes and formatting codes that you can use within ranks so by default it's just going to be i believe in a light gray which is and seven so as you can see there that's a light gray so by default it will display this rank in the light gray and then at the end it resets the color so if you add a color to the end for example if i ended and c that's a light red so it would make everything after this a light red including the player's username so let's just set that back so it resets it so below this is the permissions so this is where you define what commands players have access to so most of these are all essentials commands as these are the basic commands for any server including faction servers and if you go to this page in the description below, you can see all of the other Essentials permission nodes. So because Essentials has that many commands, they've compiled a little like search browser where you can search for the command that you want and it tells you the permission node. So for example, if I search TPA, you can see it lists all the relevant permission nodes. So to give people access to forward slash TPA, you would need to give them Essentials.TPA. As you can see there, the middle column is what you need to give the players to have access to the command. So here you can edit or remove any ones that you don't want to have. So by default, we allow players to have a home, set home, delete a home, send a TPA request, accept a TPA request, and we give them access to all the warps. So feel free to add any others if you want to. We will be adding more down the line. However, we're just going to be sticking with these by default. So the next group we have set up is VIP. So again, this is similar. We've got the name of the rank there, the prefix, and then we have a new section here called inheritance. So what this means is if you have something with an inheritance, it means it's going to inherit or get all the permissions from that group. So you can see here, it inherits all of the default permissions. So that means VIP will have access to all of these as well. And as you can see, it's got some of its own ones as well so vip users have access to slash fly slash heal slash feed 
and slash game mode. So you can use the VIP rank for maybe users that donate to your server to give them a few extra features to encourage them to keep playing. So, and then we have a few other staff groups after this. So we have mod, admin, co-owner and owner. So mod just has access to a few management commands which, such as mute and kick. Admin has some more advanced ones like ban. And then the co-owner and owner have this permission node. So if you see here, it's a little asterisk or star inside of the quotes. So that means that this group has access to every single command in the game. I do not recommend giving this permission node or group to players that you don't fully trust as they can destroy the server if they have access to all the commands. So now that we have some permissions set up, click save once you finish editing it and feel free by the way to go ahead and change all the prefixes if you want to, just make sure you lay it out correctly. So click save. So before we go ahead and restart the server to apply all the permissions, go back into the permissions file and then we're going to copy every single thing in the permissions file. So copy it and then go to this page, there'll be a link to it down in the description below, and then paste all of the permissions into this left hand side box. And then if everything is correct, it should appear on the right hand side with the same file structure. So as you can see here, it has done. However, if there is an error, for example, if I move the word VIP back just one space, it will ruin the entire file and it won't work. So as you can see, it says there's an error and it even tells you where the error is. So this is why this website is very helpful. So this is telling us that there's an error on line 19. So if we go to line 19, which is VIP, you can see here that it is one space not far enough. So if we press space, it should correct it. So just make sure you've got no errors there. If you've got an error and you don't understand how to work it out, just contact our support and they'll be more than happy to help you understand what the issue is. So once you've identified there are no issues, restart your server to apply the changes. So once you've restarted your server, you can go ahead and join it. So as you can see, I've just joined my server and I am an operator on the server. However, you can see that I am the default rank. So if I type in chat, you can see that it only displays default. However, this is good because this means the permissions plugin is working. So what we need to do is promote yourself to be the owner rank. So because I'm only an operator, operators don't have permission to do permissions X commands. So if I go ahead and we'll just to type something like pex user racerk12 add something.test, you can see that I don't have enough permissions. So to do this, you need to promote yourself to the owner group that we added. So if you go to the control panel for your Minecraft server, then go to the console, and then we need to type the command PEX, which stands for permissions X, group, and then the group name. So in this case, I want to make myself owner. So I would type owner, and then I would put user add, and then my username, so racerk12. And then as you can see, it says user racerk12 is added to owner. So if we go back in game, and then if we typed in chat, you can see that I'm now the owner rank, which is fantastic. So now I should have access to all of the permissions X commands as we have that asterisk permission node, if you remember. So now if I was to type just for example, pex user racerk12 add something.test, you can see that I added that permission. However, that's not a permission, so you don't need to do it yourself. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. So now that's fantastic. So when users first join your server now, they should have access to the default commands, which we assigned to the default group, and they should have the prefix in chat. So now that we've set up the basic permissions, we can go ahead and start setting up some kits. So if you go back to the control panel, and then go to the file manager, then go to the plugins folder, and then go to the essentials folder, and then if you go inside of the config.yml file, and then you're going to scroll down until you come across this kit section here. So as you can see, we've got some kits by default. So we've got tools, diamond tools, notch, color, and fireworks. So I don't want any of these default ones. I'm just going to delete them all apart from tools. So if you select all the way up from the bottom and then just delete up to there and then click backspace to delete them. And then we're going to set up our first kit. So I'm going to call the first kit starter. And then I'm going to set the delay, let's say every day. So we need to set it in seconds. So if you just go to Google quickly and type how many seconds are in a day, and then that gives us 86,400. So that's the figure we need to input there to make it daily. So if you put 86,400, that means that users can only use this once a day. So then we need to add the items. So let's delete all the current items. So because this is a faction server, you want to give them some swords, some tools, um, some armor and a bit of food maybe. However, you can configure it to be whatever you want. You can give them absolutely anything. So if you go to this website, there'll also be a link to this in the description below. 
This is the best website for finding the item IDs. So I want to give users an iron sword when they join. So if I search for iron sword, it comes up there. So that is item ID 267. So if we go back here and then we've got a dash, then a space after the dash, and then we type 267 space one. So we want to give them one diamond sword. So now let's add a new line, go across, make it all line up correctly, otherwise it won't work. And if we go back to the Minecraft ID, I want to give them a full set of iron armor. So if we search for iron, and then we can see here, iron helmet is 306, iron chest plate is 307, iron leggings is 308, and iron boots is 309. So let's go ahead and add all of these. So as you can see, users now receive a diamond sword and a full set of iron armor. So let's also give them a bit of food. So let's choose to give them some bread. So if I search for bread, that is item ID 297. So if we go back, add a new line. And then I want to give them 10 pieces of bread. So here I would type 10 instead of one. So now we've created our first kit. So let's go ahead and create another. So if we copy this one, and then if we go onto the next line and paste it below, and then let's call this one maybe VIP and we can give this to our VIP users. So if we set the delay, let's set the delay to something higher. So let's set it to one week. So if we search for one week in seconds, and then that's this number, so 604,800. So if we copy that and then go back to the configuration file and let's just paste it into the delay. And then let's give them some diamond armor and a diamond sword and we'll give them some enchantments. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm going to give them 64 bread. And then let's enchant some of this armor. So let's give all of this armor protection too. So if you type a space after the one and then type protection and then let's give it two. So there we go. And then let's do it for each one. So now all of this armor should have protection too. And then let's add sharpness to the sword and we'll give that sharpness four. So you can also add multiple enchantments. So let's say we also wanted to give the sword unbreaking. So we could do that by typing a space after the sharpness four, and then let's give it unbreaking one. So there we go, we've set up two kits. You can go ahead and set up more if you want to. However, I'm just gonna leave it at these two for now. So now what we need to do, we need to give users permissions to use these kits. So if you click save, and then go back to the plugins folder, and then go to the permissions X folder, then go to permissions, and then we need to give the default group access to kit starter. So if you go to the bottom of here, click a new line. So if we go across, line it all up correctly again by typing the little dash, and then we're going to type essentials, and then we need to find out what the permissions node is. So if we go back to this page and let's search for kit. So we need to give them essentials.kit, and then we also need to give them essentials.kit.the kit name. So if we go ahead and do that, and then the kit name was starter, so we put starter. And then let's just copy this one to VIP. And then change it to VIP. So we don't need to give VIP essential.kit because they already have access to it due to the inheritance because they inherit the default permissions. So now the VIP should have access to slash kit VIP and the default group should have access to slash kit starter. So if we click save and then restart the server and then we can go ahead and join to test this. So as you can see, I've just joined our server and if we type slash kit, you can see that the kits starter and VIP are there. So let's just quickly test them. So if we type slash kit starter and then slash kit VIP, we should receive all of the items. So now we need to test that we've assigned the permissions to the default group and the VIP group correctly. You need to do this for each of your groups too if you've got different groups, just to double check they're working before you start getting players. So if you type slash CI just to clear your inventory and then we need to de-op ourselves so if we type slash diop your username, and then we need to remove ourselves from the group owner. So if you type slash pex group owner user remove and then your username, this removes you from the group owner. So now if we go to the console and type pex group default user add racer k12. So now we're in the default group. So if we go back in game and if we type slash kit, you can see that we have the kit starter and it's blurred out because we've already used it in this first 24 hour period. So it's a good idea to go through each of your ranks that you've assigned kits to and just double check that they work. However, that's pretty much for this episode. So in this episode, we've set up basic permissions and some basic kits. So thank you for watching this faction series episode. Feel free to comment the IP to your server down below as I'd love to hop on one time to take a quick look at your servers to see what you're making from this tutorial. And I really hope that it's helping you. 
So I hope that you have a great day and be sure to watch next week's episode. Goodbye.